Hello, I'm Ross Montgomery, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about my virtual visits that I do. Anything from uh, a class to a whole school to a reading group. Now, I've been doing these for a few years, and I've found that there's a couple of formats that work really nicely. If I was going to talk to a reception or a key stage one group, uh, I'd probably recommend a 30 minute session. In it, I'd introduce myself uh, and then I'd read one of my books from start to finish. Maybe Ten Delicious Teachers with Sarah Warburton or Space Tortoise with David Litchfield. But I wouldn't just be reading the book and turning the pages on screen like this. Instead, I'd be taking advantage of the fact that I can screen share to use an animated uh, slideshow of one of my books. If I was reading a picture book like Ten Delicious Teachers, then I'd screen share with an animated slideshow so that children get an opportunity to see the detail that's in the illustrations and follow the story as it goes along in a more exciting way. If I was reading one of my older books for middle grade, key stage two or a short chapter book, I'd be doing something similar, but to give a bit more insight into the book and the process of writing it to get an understanding of how I came to write the story with highlights of my notes. Again, if I was going to be talking to uh, an older class, maybe year three all the way up to year eight, uh, I'd probably recommend a 45 minute session. What I could do in there is I again could start off by introducing myself and then I would focus on one of my books. Now, it could be any one of them. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but just to give you an example, it could be one of my Shake Up Shakespeare books of Barrington Stoke. These are short and funny, good for year three and four, I found. Uh, it could be something like Max and the Millions. Maybe Midnight Guardians, I normally find is very good for year five. For year six and above, I'd probably recommend one of my scarier books, like Chime Seekers or Christmas Dinner of Souls, my book of festive horror stories. After that, I would set your class maybe a short task. Now, we wouldn't be able to do it in the session because it's only 45 minutes, but it's something that I could introduce and they continue afterwards. And then uh, they'd have a chance to ask me a few questions, maybe in five minutes or so. However, I have found with virtual visits, one of the things that's nicest to do is really just talk a little bit about a book and then turn it into a long Q&A where children can ask me really detailed questions about being a writer, about my book. I found that for virtual visits, it's the thing that they're most excited about. It even gives me an opportunity to actually start talking in detail about being a writer, maybe show them some of my notes, talk about the inspiration for one of the books, really go in deep and talk to them about the importance of drafting and redrafting as well. After my visit, I might be able to organise uh, sending some signed books over to your school if you want any for your library, if you want any for your class. I'll be able to actually sign some book plates and maybe send them on so children can stick them into their books. And if you're lucky and I've got any, I might even be able to give you freebies like bookmarks. But that depends on how many I have. If you've got any questions about virtual visits, if you want to know a little bit more about how they cost, about how I can arrange them, please do send me an email. Go to the contact section of my website uh, there really is no question silly enough. Please do ask away. Thanks very much.